happy Sunday. It's Miss Maggie here with your Sunday lesson and we're gonna pick up where we left off last week and that is God had a rescue plan and he called on a guy named Abram. So today we're going to learn about Abram. But first, let's learn our everyday dream. Today's everyday truth is I follow God because he leads me the right way. Let's say that together. I follow God because he leads me the right way. Okay, let's try putting some motion to it. I follow God because he leads me the right way. I follow, follow, I follow God, God, I follow God. I follow God. I follow God because he leads me. He leads, leads me. I follow God because he leads me the right way. This is the right path, really, but the right way. I follow God because he leads me the right way. Right way. I follow God because he leads me the right way. Once again, the world was sinking in sin. People were fighting, cheating, lying, ignoring God, and hurting each other. It wasn't the way God wanted it to be. And people were building bigger and bigger cities. One of the biggest was a city called Ur. Isn't that a great name? Just two letters, U R. If someone would ask you, where do you live? And you'd say, Ur. They'd say, <laughs> no really, where do you live? And you'd say, Ur. And they'd say, stop making that noise. Where do you live? <laughs> that would be fun. But we don't have many cities with that kind of name today. We have Chicago and Birmingham and London and Dubai. Well, that one's kind of fun to say, but not as much fun as a name that sounds like your stomach growling. <laughs> but back to my story. There was a man living in Ur named Abram. You probably know him as Abraham because later on God changed his name. But before he was Abraham, he was Abram. Abram lived in Ur with his family. And when I say family, I don't mean his mom and dad. I mean his mom, dad, sisters, brothers, uncles, aunts, cousins, second cousins, third cousins, and on and on and on. You see, in the ancient world, you were safer if you were in a big group. You were less likely to be robbed or attacked by another group of people if you and your group of people were really big. Going out on your own in the ancient world was a dangerous thing to do, so people didn't go out on their own. They stuck with their families. One day, God showed up and said, Hey, Abram, I want you to go out of town on your own. At this point, Abram didn't know about God. He didn't have a Bible like we do because it hadn't been written yet. He couldn't go to church like we will be able to soon, and we can, because there weren't any churches yet. But Abraham trusted God. And so when God said to Abram, leave your family and follow me, do you know what Abram did? He said, okay. I know, crazy. Why did Abram trust God when he didn't even know him yet? Would you have trusted him? That's not all God said to Abram though. God told Abram that if he did what God asked, Abram wouldn't be alone. God would be with him. Not only that, but God would give him so many kids, as many as the stars in the sky. Kids, grandkids, and great-grandkids, Abram's family would become an entire nation. 
they'd have their own land, and the whole world would be blessed, given an amazing gift through Abram's family and his kids. Wow. So Abram said, okay, and he left his family, his country, and everything behind and wandered off into the middle of nowhere following a God he had just met. He took his wife with him. Her name was Sarari. You probably know her as Sarah because soon after God would change her name too. They didn't take any children with them though because they didn't have any children yet. Sarari and Abram really wanted to have children but God hadn't blessed them with any which might make you ask a very important question. How was Abram supposed to build a big, big family that could be a whole nation if he didn't have any children? And that's the story we'll tell next. craft is kind of messy. Um, I've got my paint here. Uh, okay. And then um, we're going to take it out in the grass and do it. And I've kind of got it kind of runny. I added a little bit of water if you only have acrylic so that it kind of gets splashy. Okay. Yeah, we have to put a rock down on our paper because it's very windy today, right? Okay. So we take our paper and we're splashing the paint on. A little bit of tree pollen on it <laughs> but God told Abram he would have as many children and grandchildren as the stars in the sky this is a very messy craft very messy messy fast. I get paint everywhere. In my hair, my clothes, everything. So don't wear nice clothes doing this and make sure it's done outside. <laughs> okay. All right. Today's lesson was in the Laugh and Learn Bible by Phil Visker. And hi, Sadie. And <laughs> they're playing outside. <laughs> um, and we're going to pick up where we left off. Uh, but, and next week, and we're going to talk about Abraham's family. Let's end on a word of prayer. Dear God, we want to follow where you lead us every day. Please show us which way to go. Amen. Have a great Sunday.